Hi, I am Donna from Mason Creations ETC, and I want to thank you for joining me today. This is Christmas ornament number six in my six part series of easy do it yourself Christmas ornament ideas from those little wooden blanks that you find at the craft stores. I'll be doing some 3D effects with air dry clay and a beautiful ombre paint finish. Let's get started. The first thing I did to this wooden blank was paint the back side of it white. It had a date stamped on it from the factory and I didn't want to take the chance of that showing through my paper because the decorative paper does have a white background. So I am putting some Mod Podge on there right now and then I'll be gluing the paper to this ornament. This Christmas ornament is made with air dry clay to get some 3D effects. I'll also show you how to paint an ombre finish and do some decoupage. I'll throw in some glitter and a great big blue rhinestone. I am taking a sanding block right now and sanding all around the edges on the paper. And this actually cuts the paper right to the edge of the ornament and leaves a nice clean sharp line. I'm going to add some glitter to the back of this ornament around all the little trees because I want it to sparkle a little bit. So I'm just kind of globbing some Mod Podge on the back of there. I don't want it to be really smooth. I want it to look like hills and valleys. I'm going to add a coat of triple thick glaze now to the back of this ornament. I'm going to make the tree, the reindeer, and the snowflake now out of Delight Clay. Delight Clay is very easy to work with and dries quickly, so it's one of my favorites. I'm going to glue the tree, the snowflake, and the reindeer to the front of my ornament now. Now that everything is glued on here, I'm going to start my ombre finish on this ornament. I'm going to start with white at the bottom so that it looks like snow. And then I'll go on to a medium blue in the center and then a dark blue at the very top so it looks like the night sky. I'm using a sponge at the edge of the paint line to blur it a little bit. I don't want it to be a sharp line for ombre. It needs to be blurred and graduated to the very next color.
I'm using a sponge again to blur the line a little bit between the blue and the white. Go back and forth sponging the two colors until I get the exact effect that I want and the line is nice and blurred between those colors. Now that I have the ombre finish completely done, I'm taking a little bit of white on my sponge and just highlighting all of the little embellishments to make them stand out. I added some water to some white paint and made it very runny. And now I'm going to tap two brushes together and it will look like it's snowing. I'm going to add some glitter now to the snow on the front of this ornament so it sparkles. Once everything is dry, I'll add a coat of triple thick glaze to the front of this ornament. It's time to add all the final embellishments to this beautiful ornament now. I have a silver trim that I'll be putting around the entire outside edge, and then I'll top it off with a beautiful silver bow that has a great big blue rhinestone in the center of it. There are some little edges of the trim that are sticking up on both sides of the ornament, so I'm going to use my hot glue gun and tack those down.
If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button too so that you can see more craft videos just like this one. Let me know in the comments which technique you enjoyed doing most. The air dry clay 3D effects or the ombre paint finish.